this out then people, so we're here. I've got a float rod on the go, and I've got a, a pop-up to hook flapper rig on the go. The float rod's not doing much at the minute because I'm, well, I'm on my camera talking. Um, it's around the wall. Yeah, there is loads of bait fish. We are right round the end of the pier. Uh, we're well far round. We must be bait 45, 50, if not further than that. Um, just because it's packed and it is literally ramo um, with fluff chuckers. Um, there's loads of mackerel coming off. It's just gone low water, about an hour ago it was low water, so I expect there'll be lots and lots of mackerel later on. Um, just a quick one, if you're fishing the pier, the east pier, do not go on the top deck, because they're threatening to close it, because people that are staying down here, um, that are doing nights and things, because they can't be bothered to walk back around the, around the pier to go for a piss, they're climbing up and over there, and they're weeing up there, and they're doing a number two up there, and then the workmen have to come and clear up human turd, so they can get on with their work, and it ain't fair on no one, so they're threatening to close the pier. Now, 90% of it, I'm going to say, is non-nationals, um, which probably don't watch my channel anyway, but, yeah, it ain't no good. So if, if you are one of them people, don't do it. Just don't, it's filth. I thought I had a bite then. Can't even see my float, to be fair. It's right around the corner. I'm gonna to have to deal with that. Um, yeah, other than that, there ain't a lot to say at the minute. I'll bring this back when there is. Matt's improvised, because there's no mackerel or anything else for that matter about at the minute. <coughs> Baked feathers down the wall. And a nice little blenny of sorts. Lovely. Bit of ragworm out of it. Yeah. Nicely hooked in the top lip, if we can get it out. I can't do it one handed, and I should have my GoPro on my head, but it is what it is. Well, Matt, I don't do it anyway. But here we go, down the wall, plenty of species. I've, um, I've had a float, come on, Matt, let me get back. I've had a float, but the tide run is still savage at the minute, and obviously we're all out, plus everyone's mackerel in, and it's just a nightmare. There's still no mackerel here, but. Um, that, that we saw them coming up along the wall when we was walking along earlier, but not a lot. We've got this dirty great ship out here making loads of bloody noise. Um, yeah. I'm sure we will see some fish sometime today. Um, until then, I will bring you back. Any fish at the minute, I'm now balls deep in a float trying to catch this bloody garfish that's not happening. Um, Matt's caught another little fish. A lovely little wrasse. Well done, Matt. All right, people. In a bit. In. <laughs> Finally, people, I have hooked a garfish. What I've been trying to do all bloody day. Jumping like a marlin. Yeah, look at that. Hopefully you can see it. Get in. Well, unfortunately for this one, because no one's caught any bloody mackerel, this one's going to be bait for the next garfish. Yes. Oh, my little carp rod don't like it. Happy days. Joe, I've done it. That's what she said. They're meant to be really, really good baits. Whatever I don't finish use up today, we'll, we'll end up back in the freezer. Um, but I'm buzzing with that. I said to you I just had a bite, didn't I? Look at that. Well, I think there'll be a few about now, so if you're going to do it, it's well worth it. A bit of mackerel that they had, but they've just chucked it all in, and this was literally the last bit. But now what I'm going to use this bait is garfish. Look at them teeth, look. Yeah, do you want some forceps? It looks like it's quite spotted now. Yeah, it looks like it's deep, doesn't it? It's proper hammered that bit of bait. Have you got an do, do you want me to grab one? Uh, oh no, I'll wicked it out, thank you though. Right, people, I'm going to get this unhooked and cut it up and use it as bait. I will dispatch it nicely, obviously. Um, yeah. Get in. Just want to show you my setup quickly. It's so simple. It's exactly the same setup I was using fishing down the river for the bass, float fishing for the bass. Um, how big's that? I don't know, three foot of 10 pound line with a size one or size two sea glow chin hook, tiny little hook. Um, 12 gram lead, Sea Tech float, I got it all from Medway Tackle, it's a kit. And then the depth on fishing, so if you can see the three foot hook length, then the float up to the tip of the rod, all the way back down, and then the, the stop beads are somewhere on this little dodgy mat age reel. That's about, yeah, so that's our deep one, all the way up the top of the rod, so that's 10 foot. That's, I'm fishing probably about 15 foot deep, um, which is probably not ideal, but I'm getting bites, so I'm going to keep it like that. Why change it if it's working? Does that make sense? Um, 
bloke and that's gone home because they've been out all night and his mate was hanging um yeah i mean i know you guys can't see that float all the way out there i say all the way out there it's not gone 300 yards but it's probably 30 yards off the pier i would have thought why oh, this dodgy wheel working Setting up the old, uh, yeah, it's my age wheel, isn't it? Crap. We'll just keep on a uh, keep a watch on it for a minute. See, there's loads of weed on the surface and all, which is a bit of a nightmare. Um, and what I mentioned earlier on in the video about people going up on the top and doing their messing and stuff, you're banned from going up on the top. Them three gentlemen walking past there now, walking down there, have just been thrown off because twice they were told about going up there. Um, so that's how it is now. You can come all the way down here. If you don't listen to the rules, they'll just throw you off and ban you for life. And fair enough, so they should. Because at the end of the day, it's people like to ruin it for the rest of us. Anyway, that's enough of me moaning. Let's uh, see if we can get a bite. You, I don't suppose you can see my float. There's probably no point in me even keeping the camera on. But that one, uh, hopefully, the footage will show it jumping. They're like marlin, just obviously a lot, lot smaller. Um, what well, I think I, I would say personally for what I know about garfish float fishing is the easiest best way to catch them um, it would be nice to be able to catch them a bit shallower though because that was deep that one really deep and another thing is obviously trying to float fish on a crowded pier like this you can see how many rods are down there and how many rods are up there it, it really is a bloody nightmare but I had one so I was happy apparently there's been a few down the other end there's loads of mackerel coming up down the other end they're just they're not up this end of the pier. I'm not really worried about mackerel. Although a mackerel on this, which that does happen, you do get a very good bycatch of mackerel when you're fishing for, for things like um, garfish and stuff. Or long noses, as some people call them in some parts of the country. Let me just cast this out. And now it's, now it's, now it's been dispatched. They're meant to be really good eating as well, I've heard. Not that I'm eating it, because it's green. Its bones are green. Let's just leave that out there for a minute and I'll show you. It's a very, very scaly fish. Look at the look at the ganners on that, look. See them? They're like little razors. Little razors. And then the bones. Where's my float? I don't see it, it's out there. Let's just take a little fillet off the side with my uh, Leatherman. Not a fillet knife, but it's all I seem to have. Mind your fingers. You see that, look? Green bone. It's crazy. It's very strange. Which is why I think a lot of people put off eating them. Cut through that towel. Look at that green bone, look. That is madness. Absolute madness. Apparently, though, meant to be really good bait. And there's its stomach full of white bait. Look at that, look. Full of white bait. And poo. Lovely. And scales, greens. We got Joe's drop net and there's loads and oh you still with them bait fish swimming past. We've just dropped it down and we managed to get a couple in the net. So oh, there's four in there, Matt. Four. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of them and you oh, 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 oh that was close. I'm gonna use one of them as a little live bait on my float fish rig. Yeah, look at them, look. Perfect. Um, no, we're not cooking them, Joe. We're 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 using them as bait. <laughs> No, that, they'll die in there, Matt. They want to be in the water. And then all I'm going to do is drop them down in there. Oh, Matt, quick, lift that up. Take that slack up. That's it. <laughs> Lovely. Right, now I'm going to get... I really hope you can see this. Stay there, little fish. Stay there. It's not going to stay alive for very long. As soon as that hits the water, it's going to die. But it's got to be the best bait out there at the minute. That's what all the fish are after. So that is what we're going to use. Well, I've already tried this, but... Get off. Come here, little dude. Little offset sea glow chin out. Straight under its chin. Out right through its head. You want to get it in the skull, really, so it's got a bit of a cold. Hopefully, we don't kill it stone dead. He's still flapping, and that there has got to be the perfect little bait. That obviously, this is set quite deep, this float. Like I say, that will probably die on impact of the water. 
but surely that's got to be the best bait down there at the minute because that's what all the fish are feeding on the garfish are smashing them the mackerel are smashing them and I've now got a few now yeah what mackerel there ain't no mackerel up this end right obviously if anything happens on that people I will bring you back but surely that's got to be the best bait do you know what these fish are so much fun to catch That came in close, I was retrieving it and dropping it like up and then letting it sink again and that's where it got it so I think maybe I'm fishing a bit too deep. But this is on one of them little fish. Great fun. When there's nothing else to be caught, that will do. This one's going back though, we don't need this one. Get in. Get in. I'm well happy with that. That's how we do it, people. That is a garfish. Oh, they're strong old fish, though. Well strong. Oh, go on, bite my finger. Bite, bite it. Man up. Oh, actually, don't bite my finger. That hurt a little bit, that one. <laughs> right. I'm going to try and get this one on the people. And I'm going to try and get it back. I will bring you back. God, it's mullered it, it's gone right down. Hopefully I can get this back in a bit. Fish. I think so, yeah. I don't know, I feel like I've got this fella's line though. Yeah, we've got to have together, Right, but there is a garfish on there. No, no, I don't know if it's mine or yours. I bet I've lost it. I bet I'm going to lose it though. Oh, what a pain in the ass. Oh, come on. It's wrapping up your line though. I'll tell you what. I'm but I'm I reckon I'm just underneath you, you know what I am, let me come around here. I think we're good now. Yeah. Perfect. Nice one, cheers mate. Oh I've got this worked out now. Like little little white baits that we're getting out the net down the down the wall. But I think I just oh, there we go, that's alright, it's unhooked itself. I think Look at that dude. I think that where I'm fishing really deep, I'm bringing it up and letting it sort of sink again. So I think I'm covering a bit more depth now. And that's, well, that's two fish in two chucks now. So hopefully I've worked, hopefully I've worked it out. So one more in there, Matt. Let's have that and then catch me some more. You ain't catching anything else, are you? You just get <laughs> Don't do that, I need that. <laughs> what was that, Rose? I love you, Matt. <laughs> Cheers, bruv. Again. What, Gurnard? Uh, not really, not as bad as Bass. There will be a little spike, just, just man up. <laughs> right, there we go. Little, my little live bait is on. All I'm doing is casting up tide a little bit over everyone. I've really messed that up, but it don't matter. See if there's any close in. I don't want to lose my bait. Obviously it's got to sink because it's really deep. Oh, and that's probably a bit close that. And there's the, oh, I don't think you can see the float. It's just cocked. I won't mention that word too loud, Matt gets excited. Go on the cars. Nothing, mate. I'm not going to get a bite live, am I? I ain't bloody lucky enough to do that. Oh, I don't know. That, was, that might have been a dip. You got me any fish yet, Matt? No, not here yet. God's sake. Pull your finger out. No, I'm going to sort, I'm going to recast that because I didn't like that. I reckon I've lost me, me, me a bit of bait and all. Is my little fish still there? Yes, it is. They don't hang on very well, these little things. Let's give that another go. That was a better chuck. Yes, much better. Right, people, I'll leave you to it because there's no point in me trying to film the float because you ain't going to see it. And again. I love it, mate. It's so much fun. 
You, ah, oh, it fell off. Oh well, I don't care. I'll just get another one. People, if you've never done garfish fishing, get out and do it. It is honestly brilliant fun. Especially when there's nothing else. Like nothing, there's nothing else on the bottom. There's just been a couple of mackerel come up. Everyone's bang on their feathers now. Um, but I've just made that one really deep, like probably about five metres, six metres deep. And I think that there's a chance also of getting a mackerel on this. Because obviously the mackerel are, the mackerel are here because they're chasing them white bait. Um, yeah, cheap little rod, unreal. What, what is this? It's a, uh, it's a Pro Logic 10 foot stalking carp rod. Um, and that I caught on the retrieve. I was bringing it in because what I'm doing is I'm casting that over there. The floats going all the way around there, underneath them out, and then I'm bringing it back underneath them. Um, and yeah, that come up on the retrieve. So it's obviously, as I'm bringing that little fish back up through the water column, I'm finding the right depth. But as it is, it just float around and do what it's got to do. Happy days. Hopefully you'll see in the footage of them jump and stuff, because it's so much fun. Just turned up in numbers, people. They're right up against the wall, and I think I might have a mackerel in here. Whatever it is, it's... It's not a garfish because it's not. Oh, it's going to look lovely. Yeah, I've got a mackerel. Yes! So there's a mackerel and a garfish on the float today, which is great fun. Yeah, anything you. Matt! Yeah. Mate, I'm catching them with one hook. You've got six on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, look here. Uh, what, this, back, this mackerel? Oh, alright, alright. Well, we're keeping some mackerel then. Nicely hooked. I need a bit of bait now because I've run out of little live ones. Right, I'm going to dispatch of this off camera. Happy days. So, I've smashed a fish on the float. I got bored of it. Everyone started mackereling, so I stuck a bit of bait back down on the old pop-up rig. And there we go. It's tiny, but it's a fish. It is a little smooth hound. Oh, he's yapping at me. See that little dude? <laughs> right, well I'm um, I'm just about to send a live update on the old TikTok people so if you're not on there please do follow me on TikTok Fish Hunter 6 or something it's called I don't know um, but then you'll get live updates when I'm actually fishing instead of having to watch this video three days later happy days hello guys it's Joe Reese is being lazy catching garfish I just wanted to show you a place that I just caught. Nice. In a bit. <laughs>